Welcome, listeners, to a very, very special episode of Two Beers and a Mic. Today, we have a guest appearance from a friend of mine and local from. colleague. Uh, went to Swasu with this man, uh, yep. you know, grinded in Weatherford, Oklahoma, all yeah, three of us up. at one point. Let's do it. Um, yeah, so, you know, get to talk about that with him, do a beer review, do a balls to the wall board, talking about... Cars that you either have some big cojones or, or some, some small cojones or some <laughs> teeny nuts. Yeah. Um, this is another episode of Two Beers in a Mic. Here we go. Hey guys, how you doing there, buds? Oh, we're good, man. We got our buddy uh, Ty J over here. Ty yes, J. sir. Hey, I appreciate you saying my name right too. <laughs> See? See? So it's actually so it's actually Tajay. Tajay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Ta- I like Tajay too, but Tajay is what I what I go by. Hey, right you know what flows well on the uh, the TikTok yeah. is Tajay Two K. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, follow yeah, this yeah, man yeah. on on TikTok. Follow him on Instagram. Follow him on we Facebook. Gonna it, we're gonna put it somewhere right here yep. in this little area, right? In that here. little vicinity. Yeah. yeah. All social media platforms. Everywhere. Tajay Two K on everything. Social media, Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Love it. Yeah. So Love you it. are our technically third guest. Yeah. But in reality, other than non family members, you are our first guest. Ooh, ooh. So very true. spicy then. Okay. You know, very, you know, yeah, very special. Very special okay. uh, to have you here. Glad you came out. I know we've yeah. been talking about it for a couple months now. Yeah. Um, we're going to do a beer review yeah, with I you. Think. We're going to do a balls to the wall board with you, get to okay. know you a little bit. We will not be doing a question of the day today because oh. the question of the day will be all the questions we ask you in a quote-unquote interview, talk session, you know, whatever okay. it is. It's not nothing to stress about. I'm but, stressing. You know, I'm nah. sweating right now. <laughs> just just I'm conversating, sweating right man. now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, but how about we start the pot off by okay. uh, getting all our drink on? Let's do it. So what do we have here, Stone? We grab the can for us and give us a little description. All right, it kind of caught my eye just come picking it out the fridge just because it had this, you know, total bro blackberry right on the front of the can right there. And I'm black, so let's do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. see, so you know what I'm saying? Out perfectly support. Fine. All yeah, support. Yeah. Support. <laughs> support. Yeah. Black Lives Matter. Exactly. Actually, it says Crackberry. Hey. Uh, oh, oh yeah. for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, we good. <laughs> but black don't crack. Yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. Hey, it's so dope. Is that yeah, true? Man. So we're fine. Yeah. 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 So we're fine. Dude, I, I got to say, though, I can't, I'll never forget the first time that, like, I heard that. Some Somebody looked at me, this old, this yeah. old lady said, you, baby, you know black don't crack? I was like, dang, okay. That's so fine. Black That's great. Crack, That's true. Man. She was like 67, man. bro. Okay. I thought she, she was like 30-something. Yeah. Did I was like, it didn't crack, did it? No, not Dang. a shot. The importance Dang. goes mortgage, food, cocoa butter bill, right? Cocoa butter. <laughs> How <laughs> you know about that cocoa butter? Let's, say, let's just say right I there. am a... Uh, Educated. Yeah, let's just say he like black girls. We're gonna cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong? What's wrong with black girls? No, no, oh, we oh, okay. I'm just engaged, okay. but you know. Uh, oh, geez. you engaged? What's your what's your girl's name? Her name is Tate. Okay, it's his uh his sister actually. Whoa, <laughs> wicked, <laughs> yeah. 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 wicked. Hey, yeah, things got weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. nah, nah. Good guy though. Nah, he's cool though. Yeah, he's nah, he's cool. Works out. Works out. For sure. I couldn't, I couldn't sure. have that happen, you know. Nah, yeah. My it's... sister is off limits, dog. Like, <laughs> know I got that now. Five sisters, bro. Really? I have five sisters. How many siblings total? Uh, eight. You don't. Oh, I was about to say you're the only boy. I'm the youngest boy. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So it's a lot of. So pressure it's all on you. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure on me. Because the rest just. Yeah. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> I'm just like, they said you're the last chance. I'm like, hey, we got one more shot. Yeah. How much? How much uh, separation is between you and your next brother? Um. So how old am I? Shoot, 23? Okay. 23. I'm 23. So uh, my older my older brother next to me, he yeah, he's 25. So it's just a little it's a little two year gap. So, yeah. Not bad. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah. That's okay. Cool. I always wanted a brother. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. You got one now in law. Yeah, yeah. That's true. That's yeah, true. Bro. You know, be like not that bad. sometimes. But he's smacking your sister, though. This is true. <laughs> that, that's the hard part. Uh, that's the hard I don't part. want to hear that. That's, <laughs> that's the hard part. See, I just don't think about it. That's what we get to drinking. Uh, <laughs> we, just we just don't think about it. And then it's yeah, like it just doesn't exist. We, don't, yeah, we, just, we just don't think about that part. But, yeah, good guy. Yeah. 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 No, yeah, great guy. Great guy. Really good guy. So we but, got yeah, these... so we got the black razzleberry, razzle-dazzleberry, crackberry. Cranberry, blackberry, what does yeah. it say? Tart. Let's drink this beer, y'all. Tart and sweet. sweet. What yeah, man. Alcohol by volume is it six? Six percent. Okay, right, a little thicker. So yeah. you gotta, you oh, gotta is drink. That, is that, what is that? Was that? It's like, like higher on the end or what? Uh, I don't even drink beer. I just, I just told him I wanted to get on the podcast, <laughs> but we're gonna do some stuff though. That's okay. So normal <laughs> light beer like the Michelobes, the Coors, okay. the 
the, all that type of stuff. That's usually like four point two. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, that's what I usually. Like, if I'm drinking, it's gonna be a Michelob or a Dos Equis. Right. Yeah. Sense, right. So. And then if you're doing like seltzers, they get up to like five. So this okay. is gonna be a little okay, a little let's thicker than it. that. Let's do it. Let's Facts. do it. So let's get it going. All right. I went ahead and poured them in the glasses in our live local, you know, White Rock Brewery yes, uh, or Brewing Company. Hey, shout out to White Rock. Yes, shout out to White Rock. Appreciate you. Live local. All right. Let me tell you, if you if you ever come. Whenever you come back, because yeah. you'll be a recurring guest, we're going to bring you back. Let's do it. And we got to go on a boat day. Um, we're going to go. Oh, you know we got to do that boat. We got to do a boat day. <laughs> you know we got to do and that And then we're going to hit up White Rock Ale House, and we're going to get you some tater kegs. Tater kegs. Oh, dude. So so let me tell you about tater kegs. All the Talk listeners already know about tater kegs. I but, heard it. But let me tell you about it. Okay, so tater kegs. It's a tater tot filled with cheese, bacon, chives, sour cream. Basically, it's a it's a baked potato okay. in it. Tater top. Got form. you. Two beers, one mic, and some food, maybe even. We do some food, <laughs> we do some food reviews sometimes. You know? Oh, yeah. Call that boy Keith Lee. Call That's that right. boy Keith oh, Lee. I'm not trying to steal any uh, thunder from that ten man. Out, ten out ten. He's ten got ten Las ten. Vegas under lock. I'd love Dallas. He got it under lock. I'll yeah, take Dallas. Does. Give it to him. Give, it, give me Dallas. Give him the keys give us to the you saw, you saw what he did to Jimmy John's, bro? Like their sales after he posted about their, oh, about yeah. their sandwich? Their yeah. DoorDash orders. Yeah, or their yeah. DoorDash orders. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah, yeah. shit was, was insane. Cool. Yes, something yeah. like that. Yeah, I mean, really, I mean, it's all about personal branding, man. I'm telling you. Like, that's what I'm telling you. That's all I'm trying to focus on right now because yeah. that's that's where the oh that's where the, that's where the sauce is. You know what I mean? I'm with you. I'm with you. We're trying to learn. We're trying to learn. No, nah, seriously. Let's seriously. get a little saucy and uh, I'm ready. So how we, we do this is we we get a little taste test. We mm. rank it smell one that, through ten. Smell that though. Smell that. It smells a little mm. sour. A little whirl it around. Go, a go ahead, ready? A little, a little cheers, tart. boys. All right, cheers, guys. Cheers, cheers. Oh, that's good though. That is good. Whoa, that's, that's good. good. That's good. I like that. I like that a lot. I was about to say he doesn't like that. <laughs> Me? <laughs> yeah, I was no, like, I, see, I like so what we found is is Stone's not you the like biggest that. Uh, biggest. He's not fond of the the thicker, pinier, you know, that beers. dark beer. But this is a sour beer, so that looks good. I like. I'm I, telling I, you, I thoroughly enjoy it. To be honest, hey, go ahead and pour me another glass. I know. I tell you what, <laughs> we got more, right? Go ahead and pour me one more glass of that. That is good. That is good. That tastes a lot like the uh, sour beer that I had at uh, oh, White Rock. Jammies? Yeah, yeah, at White Rock Ale House. I don't even drink beer, though, but that was, yo, you got extra, like, let me take that on the road. <laughs> That's what you, I'm yeah. saying. Hey, I, well, yeah, go I for it. Good. So, so before we get into anything well else, tahini. yeah, throw some tahini in there with it. Mm-hmm. See if it amplifies the flavor. <laughs> um, what would you rank that one through ten in comparison Shoot. to other things? Um, Give it a cool little nine and a half. Nine and a half. Oh, that's solid. Some slight. That's a that's that's number solid one right now. I think yeah. if he gives it nine, what do you give it? What do you give? Dude, it? I'm pretty close, man. I that's love good, that. Though. That's what, like that a, was good. I'm gonna say like a nine point two, honestly. Ooh, yeah. But you know, you know, Let's I'm a be fan. Be real with it though, because I don't really know. You know what I mean? You know, I'm a fan of the sour beers. I like that though. It's like I like that. It doesn't do taste like taste, bitter. I do taste, and it's probably like, oh, it's probably a cider anyway. It has like that apple cider the, vinegar you, taste to it a little bit. So I'm going to give it an 8.8 just because I'm okay. going to be that guy. The that apple cider vinegar beer. taste is there, but can me that. I wanted to see what that looked like. Yeah, go for it's it. It's a cider, cider though. That's why. why. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. So I guess it. Oh, okay. You can't okay, go okay. wrong okay. with a cider. Right, right, right. right, right, right. Okay. Because I, I was wondering, like, yo, this is, what kind of beer is this? It's good. Is that considered beer if it's a cider? Beer and cider. We do, I mean, we're, we're going to run out of beers eventually if we just yeah. do strictly yeah. beers. But are we doing, is this two beers in one cup? I mean, in one mic or what? <laughs> <laughs> Two beers, no, uh, trademark. I love is, ciders. Uh, I love ciders, though. It, it branches out to seltzer <laughs> ciders. So we're, we may even yeah. do mixed drinks yeah, one day. Just, who, yeah, who knows? Just alcoholic beverage. Alcoholic yeah. beverage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two yeah, beers and a mic sounds a lot better than yeah. two alcoholic two beverages. Two alcoholic beverages and, and two guys. And two guys. Yeah. And two yeah. guys. That sounds yeah, a little I'll sus. I'll show you. <laughs> yeah. Sounds a little sus. <laughs> yeah, right. It does. <laughs> It does. It's okay, you know. People might tune in, but they may be like, "That's, that's it." Because I love, <laughs> I love Angry Orchard. Like that's my, that's uh, my go-to. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, if yeah. I'm gonna get a cider, Angry Orchard, bro. Had three of those, I'm cool. Yeah. But that because they have like high alcohol content. Mm-hmm. So, oh, dude, one of these you'll yeah. feel a little bit. Yeah. Three of them, you're fine. Knock was, you out of your chair. Do we have? Go ahead and pour me one more. Do we have more? We, we have another one, right? We don't we have no more. Don't we? Don't. What? I'm so sorry. We got them just for the we're, tasting. We're, all right, we got. We do have some other beer though. Where'd you buy it from? So you can get these at uh, Kroger. I'm gonna take a picture. I'm probably Brookshire's. Yeah, yeah. I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna take a picture. Um, hit them up. I'm sure they sell probably 12 packs or something. Um, the best thing about Kroger, Kroger, is they have this little. Uh, they have a little fridge, and you can make your own six packs. 
Oh, so, okay. they, so they have like put six in there. rows of local beers, regular mm. beers, like like popular beers, stuff okay. like that, and ciders and seltzers. And you can just, for twelve ninety nine or something like that, all you do is fill up your, your oh. six-pack, and then you just walk out with them all. And it's gluten-free. Look at that. I don't even hey. know what gluten really is. Oh, yeah, you were talking about you're a vegan or, or what? No, I'm I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that time. That was a horrible time in my life right there. Oh. <laughs> Day. Well, now that we got we got the beer done, we got the beer reviewed. The nice yeah. nine is gonna be a, that's gonna yeah. be a top ranker for us. Oh, yeah. for sure. Um, that's was it nine point five, nine point two, nine point nine, and eight point eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just because that little bit of apple cider vinegar taste. Yeah, I just I just don't I just don't want to give it a ten because like the only thing I'm really comparing it to is, is Angry Orchard. Yeah, that's fair. So yeah, you got to give me some more of that though. What's that crackberry? That's whew. good. What's a ten to you alcohol wise? I don't even know. Do you have any? I don't even know. No. I'm not even real. I'm not a big alcohol drinker, to be honest. That's with fair. You. That's fine. So I'm not. But either. that was right there, right there. I'm gonna keep that in the fridge. Okay, that's good. Keep that All in the fridge. Right. So this is what we classify as. I would say it's even both. We so we like to classify these as out by the campfire beers mm-hmm. or out on the lake beers. This is an out on the lake beer for sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But on I the would... boat. But this boat. is <laughs> bring that crackberry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Bring that crackberry because I'm gonna have three of those. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be gone. I would, you know, this is kind of giving me a little Christmas yeah. vibes, a little cranberry, you know, yeah. a little. Uh, I can feel it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, sure. They got a lake around here though. Oh yeah. Yeah. What lake is that? They got oh. Ray Hubbard. They got Lake Louisville. Okay. You go south. They got uh, okay. Cedar Creek Lake. Oh, uh, you go I all the way up to, to Lake Texoma. Game. Yeah, this this chick hit me. She talking about she want to go to the beach. What beach are you talking about? No beach in Dallas. Nine you don't want to go to any to beach in Texas. No. Yeah, no any beach. beach. In Dallas. What are you talking about? You go to like Port Port what? I don't even think she really wanted to go to the beach. I think she wanted to go to my beach. Maybe. Yeah. See. I think she might have just wanted to be at my beach. See. She wanted you know, to be your beach. Exactly. She wanted to go to that Motel yeah. Six. Oh, yeah. see. She want to go to that do sixty dollar night room. Do they rent? <laughs> hey, that's okay. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes that's do they what rent you got to do. The hour? Hey, man, hey, I think some of them. I don't do. need a whole night. Hey, I just need two minutes. I just, of need, your time. Minutes. I just need two minutes of your time. It's the baby. flat rate. I just need two minutes. It'll be that's what, funny. like sixty cents? I'm gonna take my time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's funny. Take that's funny. Well, cool, so man. we got some questions for you. You know, catch up a little bit. Man. I mean, there, you've been through a lot since been through too much, man. Since we've I've seen you last. Um. So tell us, just give us a little rundown of what you're doing right now. Yeah. All right, cool. Right now, um, I'm doing car sales in Guthrie, Oklahoma. I kind of wanted to switch it up because I was in pharmacy school. I yeah. know you was headed to that route as well. Look where I'm at now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> look where I'm at. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not there. Nah, man, I was actually, it was it was dope, though. It was dope because I actually did get into pharmacy school. I don't know if you Really? Know I don't know if you, yeah. Congratulations. Cool. Yeah, I did get in. I did get in. Over at Swasu? Yeah, yeah, nice. I got in. My first semester, that mug was difficult. I had a girlfriend at the time, you know, and at the time, it was like, Whenever you whenever you get to like a successful point in your life, you know, you feel like you got to, I don't know, I felt like on top of the world, low key, you know yeah. what I mean? So I kind of bit off more than I could chew at mm. the time. So my mom, my mom needed a little bit of help. So I got her, I got her an apartment while mm. I was out there, you know, and it was pretty, it was pretty cheap because she yeah. wanted to get an apartment in LA. Like, we ain't doing that. Yeah, right. doing that. <laughs> How about Weatherford, Oklahoma? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, want a, you want an apartment in LA? How about Weatherford, Oklahoma? Right. The villages. Like, yeah, it was like $300 a month, like, you know, but you know. Mind you, I'm in school. Like, right. It still hurt my pockets. Oh, a for bit. sure. You know, so I, I did that. You know, I had a little girlfriend at the time, a little bad little thing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I had a, a little ego booster girl. You oh, know? <laughs> man. You know, but, uh, but yeah, man, it just got to a point where I realized that when you get into that grad program, you got to focus it. You got to mm. focus all that energy and everything that you have, cause really, because it's not. It's not doable with with everything, you know. I've seen a lot of people that had girlfriends. They had to drop them, you know. They had like other life thing going on. Like you got to drop. You got to focus on that. Like when you get into Damn. that grad program, it's real. But uh, four straight years, man. Especially yeah, in pharmacy. Yeah. I was a semester in. I ain't get no sleep that whole semester. I said, yeah, we can't do this no more. So also has a rather like yeah. established pharmacy school yeah, too, it's right? De- yeah, it's definitely intense. What I heard was like second best in the nation. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah my most pr- it probably is. No, I yeah. felt it. Right? Yeah, because they yeah. thrive themselves yeah. uh, whenever they were like recruiting on their hey, yo, like can nursing I come back, program. By the way? Swasu, can I come back? I, yeah. promise I promise you, I get my priorities straight this time. Yeah, I promise you. See, I wish that like was actually a thing though. Like colleges would take you back after yeah, a few I'm gonna years. I'm gonna send them a letter. Whenever, yeah, letter. whenever yeah. you like actually like grow up and like, oh shit, yeah. I like, kind of was a dumbass back yeah. then. You know no, what I'm saying? Definitely, definitely. I mean, it, we're it was, 20 years old. Yeah, right. I definitely learned. I definitely learned. You know what I want to do? I actually hit my pharmacist and I was like, yo, I wish I could just reverse time. Mm. Just really just focus on pharmacy school because that, I think that's where I that's where I was headed for a long time. You know, yeah. like that's where. 
my whole life was like, like we, four straight we years. Be pharmacists was, a long time. Yeah. Right. Because even my first job, it was in the pharmacy. It was pharmacy. Walgreens. Really? Yeah, yeah, Walgreens. Well, like, night other, other than that, McDonald's little nonsense. But yeah, we ain't gonna talk yeah, about, gonna talk about <laughs> that. But but yeah, pharmacy was like my first job, really. And I was That's just cool. in there, so I was like, yeah, let's do it. But Dang. life, life, man, life will get to you for real. I mean, I life went to school. To I went to Swasu wanting to do yeah. pharmacy. Yeah. I, after a year and a half, I, I was thought like, she was gonna make it too. I said, <laughs> I said, I'm done with this. Yeah. I went to computer science. I did yep. that for a year. I dropped out of Swasu my second mm -hmm. year. After my second year, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna work with my dad for the summer and yeah. see what happens. Well, ended up I actually enjoyed doing what you know mm -hmm. working with him. So that's how now what I do full time. I have I'm. COO of a construction company doing there a podcast go. on the side. There we go. Where was pharmacy? There we go. Not even included. Yeah, nah. It's it's really you. Gotta, you got to find yourself. You know what I mean? I think that's what it really comes down to. Uh, you got to go through all these failures in life and all these different things that you got to go through and try and just really find out where you fit in. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So that's I think that's what it really comes down to. So what are you doing now? Tell us about now. Yeah, where'd you fit in after, yeah, yeah, after right, pharmacy right now, school? Right now, car sales. That's exactly where I want to be right now. Kind of want to do something different. Because, you know, like when you when you take so many L's, it's like, yo, I don't want to go to that path no more. It's yeah. a dog-eat-dog yeah, dog yeah, world, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll when tell you what. you take what. so many L's, you got to just like reinvent yourself. And that's mm. kind of where I'm on right now. I just want to okay. reinvent myself. TikTok is going well right now. Absolutely. Uh, all my social media is pretty much going well. I got the that first video. I hope y'all throw that video up there somewhere. You oh, know what for I mean? sure. But that first video... Um, I was kind of like, man, I don't know what I'm doing in Guthrie, Oklahoma, selling cars. You mm -hmm. know, I don't know what I'm doing out here. But it got to a point where I was like, I posted that video, and that video blew up, and I was like, maybe I'm in the right spot. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe I'm in. If that that video got 33 million views, cutting off your yeah. collar, just right? Random video, yeah, just cutting off my collar because when you when you first when you sell your first car, you're supposed yeah. to cut off your uh, your tie. Okay. Like, uh, I, didn't have, I didn't have a tie, yeah. so I was like, just cut that collar. Cut that off, collar. You know what I mean? And then I'm you actually, got sponsored by Walmart. Yeah, and I got the Walmart sponsor. Shout out <laughs> to Walmart that for that sick. one because that was actually fire. I didn't think that was gonna happen, but that's that kind of sick. That was dope. That was dope. But uh, yeah, it was it was crazy how that went down because I actually seen it on TikTok that they do that. Really? I went to my car. I went to my um, my GM, and I was like, "Yo, I sold my first car." I just like look at him. I'm like, "Yo, I sold my first car." He didn't say nothing. I was like, "You don't want to cut my collar or nothing?" Like, <laughs> yeah, he's like, like, you don't want to, yo? You no, know, why nobody clapping? Like, right. That was hard work. Right. You know? <laughs> so yeah, that that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm still going to UCO. I go okay. to UCO now, okay. uh, University of Central Oklahoma, doing accounting and finance is my major. Okay. Kind of taking it slow with that. Just really just just trying to focus on that, but. That's really much where I'm at right now, man. Are you trying to move that like into the dealership game to where you're maybe a, a GM or something like I that? I really, I really, at this point right now, I don't know where life is going to take me. I feel you. you know, I feel like I feel like you have like a kind of like a vision as to where you want it to go, but I think more more of what I'm doing right now is just focusing on what's going on right now. Hmm. Like I think everything is going to play out like how it's supposed to play out. Yeah. But you just focus on what you what you got going on right now and just. Yeah maximize that that's why i'm like okay let's do the TikTok thing that's that's going well and just kind of see where like, kind of see where that goes yeah, yeah. what yeah. kind of content are you like try, trying to lean towards with all that um so so it's so it's weird actually right now it's i really just want it to be about me and right. my whole journey of just like being a car salesman right rather than trying to sell you a car right you know, like a because, typical yeah, yeah. yeah because everybody everybody got cars you know right. what i mean everybody has something that they can sell you right but what people really buy is they don't really buy the product for the product. They buy you for the product. Oh, for sure. You know, so that's why I kind of want to just just be me and just kind of incorporate just my personality and all my different videos that we're doing and just show my journey as a car salesman or whatever I plan on doing. I don't want it to just be about car sales. Right. Because if I'm not doing car sales, I still need them people to follow me and doing whatever else I'm doing. You know, yeah, so, Absolutely. yeah that's so, fair. So that's what that's what I'm really that's what it really comes down to. I'm with it. Yeah, I'm with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Yeah, I think your your I mean, if I were to guess, I'd say your future leans very heavily towards sales. Yeah. I think you're just a natural born salesman. I don't. Yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. if you would. I think you'd get too antsy, like mm -hmm. as a GM spot sitting in an office, yeah, 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 managing yeah. other people. I think you'd be great at it, but yeah. I think like. You would you want to be in the action? Yeah, I want to. Yeah, give me some action. You're not. Action, you're not a. Sure. You're not a sitting on the sidelines doing paperwork type guy. Like you're a. You're a. I'm gonna. I'm gonna sell these people. Yeah, you know. Right. Yeah. It's it's definitely it's it's hard. It's yeah. definitely hard. What's the challenges of it, man? I think the main challenges is man, you have to, you have to. First off, you gotta find people to come and buy a car. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not like it's, it used to be right because yeah. now you got like auto trader and everything, yeah, so everybody's got, just kind of looking. Yeah, social media is good and bad. Yeah, you know, social media is good and bad. 
but I think a lot of it is I'm doing a lot of marketing myself to show people that I'm here in the dealership. I'm doing Facebook, you know, I'm doing the Facebook marketplace post, Craigslist. I'm doing everything that I can possibly do because if you're just going to sit there and wait for people to come into the dealership, you're probably not going to make no money. Yeah. Especially in Guthrie, Oklahoma. Like it's not a it's not Oklahoma City. This is no. way out the, you know. Yeah. This is way yeah, out. Yeah, how far from Gu- from OKC is Guthrie? Probably a, cool little, probably a cool probably a cool little thirty minute drive. Okay. I would say a cool little from the from the actual like mid city. Yeah. Like it's cool little thirty minute drive. And that's a long way in Oklahoma because four is. hours get you out the state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know it's what I'm a long way. Nobody's trying to drive thirty minutes if they can get something for a little bit cheaper over there. Yeah. Right. And that's why that's why I find personal branding so so mm. high. Right. Because they might see a car over there for more expensive, but they mm. might just want to meet you and want to see you and want to experience right. you over there, and they might spend a little bit more. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So. So that's I'm why that. I'm, I'm doing so heavily on the personal branding. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I'm yeah. with it. I'm with it. What's the craziest? Well, I think this was something you you wanted to yeah. ask, right? The craziest yeah. car oh, experience, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you? Ha- oh, yeah. We yeah. can get into that. Okay, let's do yeah. it. Let's yeah. do yeah. it. Let let's me do see. it. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna find this one crazy. All right. So I don't even know if I can say this, but let's say it and then let's see if we got to cut it out. <laughs> no, no. I don't Just, know. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, no filter. You can use names. All I right. can bleep them out. So this is the crazy. This is the craziest thing. So probably my second car sale. I'm just trying to get people in the car dealership, you know? Right. So this this Asian lady hits me, and she's like, yo, do you have Toyotas? And I'm like, yeah, we got Toyotas up yeah. and down the dealership. Yeah. We got Toyotas everywhere. everywhere. Right. When she come, we only got one Toyota. <laughs> it's out of her budget. I'm selling the heck out of that Toyota, though. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I'm like, yeah, this is everything you need. I'm showing her all these features. Like, she wanted to spend maybe $500 a month. She left paying eight hundred dollars a month on the car payment. <laughs> we we sold that Toyota for way more than I think it should. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? She foreclosed on her house. Yeah, the bank. yeah. But she got that Toyota. She got that Toyota. It's <laughs> yeah. reliable. Yeah, it's reliable. She got a lifetime powertrain warranty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but man, but but the thing about it is, is like her last name. Uh, was the same last name as my ex-girlfriend. So I took that like a personal... I took it personal, like, bro. I'm like, I'm going right, to sell so this a... car right now. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like I got this to... is personal. I don't know. They might be related. So they might, you know, you might talk about me after this car <laughs> Come back to me, by the way. Nah, I'm, uh, nah. <laughs> nah but, uh, but yeah, it's the same last name. So I took it personal. But it's really crazy how that goes because my enthusiasm, my optimism was so much higher when I first started getting in. I was like, yo, bring anybody to me. I'm going to sell them a car. Mm. Now it's like, uh, wait, hold on ten. a second. Yeah, hold on a second. let Let's. I don't know if we have that car. Mm. You know, so I think I think really what it is is like whenever you get excited about something, try to keep that excitement, you know, yeah. keep that excitement into that regardless of how it's doing, you know, because right now, like, yo, I'm not, I haven't sold any cars this month. I Dang. haven't sold any. That's the hard part about yeah, being a yeah, car salesman. That's the hard yeah. part. Well, but, especially now when, I mean, Aren't used cars? I mean, yeah. I'm sure new. Is... Somebody probably thinking like, "Yo, he's trash at selling." Like, nah, I'm just I'm new. It's right? hard. I'm new. Yeah. He's Give just me some like time. everyone else. Out there. Yeah. Some time, yo. I'm on the Andy Elliott program right now. Stop playing me. <laughs> oh heck yeah. Do you do you listen to like any any like motivational speakers or any any sales speakers? Yeah, that... yeah. So Andy Elliott goes hard. Um, I think he's. What you he, like about him? Really, just um, uh, I don't really know what I like about him per se. I think it's really just the organization of of the information mm-hmm. okay you know because a lot of people they talk on they, they you can get on their instagram and they got all types of stuff but like step by step what you right. need to be doing andy elliott is the, uh, is the goat okay grant cardone oh yeah yeah, yeah grant yeah you know i gotta throw that in there grant cardone oh for sure um a few different people man but i think those are the top two grant cardone andy elliott go that's crazy. sick yeah. i i uh the one uh oh what's it called whenever the one card that I can pull is that one time when I, I was down in staying in Houston, yeah. I was staying at the Post Oak Hotel, okay. and um, walking out as we're checking out, I see I see that bro Grant Cardone just walking down checking out. For real, yeah, oh, snap. yeah. And this po- the Post Oak is like uh, it it was paid for by a client of mine, and mm-hmm. it's very it's very top notch hotel. But he just came walking down. He's the nicest guy ever. He but he just goes up to the counter. He says Cardone three more nights, and then I was like. Oh. Like I got to introduce myself. I turn Whoa. around and I'm like, okay. But it, I introduce myself. He's kind as could be, and then he just says, "Yeah, Cardone, three more nights." Walks out and his into his like blacked out Escalade that he's renting for the weekend. I'm like, oh, this. I can't bro. wait to get some money, bro. <laughs> like, yeah, like, let's just be real right now. Like, I just can't wait to get my bag. Like, hold on. la uh, la <laughs> la la. Wait till I, I get, get my money. money, right? Like, come on, talk to me. Like, I can't wait to get my little bag because you know, man. Tajay, three nights. Stop playing. 
I'm telling you. Three more nights. Three more, I'm yeah, telling you. Vargas, three more nights. Three more nights. How sweet. Oh, Please. Damn. Vegas. Would love it. They're like, sir, we actually upgraded you because of your name. Oh, yeah. You know, you're like, I just try to stay humble and get yeah. a regular nah, suite. No, nah, but... I'll just take the queen size. All right. Nah, give Please. Me the, give me Presidential the, suite. Yeah, give me that Prezi. <laughs> give me that Prezi suite. <laughs> yeah. Really? Sir, if you, if you mention funny. us in your next TikTok, uh, we'll yeah. give you the room for free. All mm-hmm. right. Dude, that's a cool part. So I, I am curious, has, has anybody like okay. has anybody yeah. recognized you or anything like that? Or like even even like friends have yeah. like have you felt treated different or anything like well, that? Well, I'm definitely getting treated different. I wouldn't be on this podcast. <laughs> that's, fair. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. That's <laughs> fair. I wouldn't be on this podcast if I was a regular Joe Schmo. Yeah. That's you know? fair. That's but, fair. But uh, but man, um, I have noticed. I have noticed it definitely. Yeah. But it's not. It's not like how you think it is. No, nah, no, nah, it's not yeah. like crazy. I'm or anything. not. I'm not a celebrity by any means. Nah. But it's just like, oh, I seen your TikTok. Right. I, I just like just yeah. something like yeah, that. Yeah, like, oh, I, seen you, I seen you on TikTok. Yeah. I'll just be doing random things. Like somebody from like I went to Walgreens, went to go buy some buy something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> went to Walgreens, went to go buy something. But um yeah, he was like, Yeah, I seen you on TikTok. Yeah, I'm like, that's cool. Like that's just, that's just gotta that be motivating. Alone, that's that's lit. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's I don't be... I don't know like how everybody else feel about they TikTok views, but like yo, if you if you say yo, I see you on TikTok, I love that. Especially when we first starting off yeah, too. Yeah, or not yeah, first yeah. starting off because you're pretty well established now. So, yeah, but, now I am. Yeah, yeah, now I am. But it's like, man, that's crazy though. Yeah. Yeah. I love like, that. Like 30, 30 million views on that one TikTok. Like I know my ex had to see that one, you know? Like, <laughs> Please. My ex had to see that joint. We need like, you back. That's on the news. <laughs> <laughs> the We're on the news with that one. No, you, you, know? saw, it on, you saw it on ABC. <laughs> Guthrie. Yeah, Guth- yeah. Wake up, Grump. Guthrie. We, wait, we good morning LA good with, morning. That, with that TikTok video. <laughs> good morning, Guthrie. My name is Tajay yeah. Duga. Good morning, Guthrie. My name is Tajay <laughs> Vargas. We are going to be live here. No, yeah, you serious, can do it. Man. You can do it. Somebody get me on the radio. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's pretty funny. So what what things do you allow yourself every single day? Mm. Like, like what are some like everyday, daily, not goals, but like daily things that you implement to keep okay. like your like the grind mindset going? Okay. So really, so we can talk a little bit like let's do a little financial aspect of it. Let's do it. Um when you got when you got money just sitting in your account. Which I, which I, which I, I had, I had on and off. You know, just money just sitting in your account. Right. It's your, your hunger goes low. Mm-hmm. So when you got money just sitting in your account, your hunger is like, yo, I'm cool. Like, what do I got to grind for if I got 10, 20 just sitting chilling? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know. So I have to actually open up a whole different account and just throw that money in there. So when I look at my account, it's not. It's like we got two hundred dollars in there. You know. So it's mm-hmm. like I kind of want to keep that mindset of just hungry. You still yeah. gotta grind. You know, I gotta keep that mindset just hungry because I've been, in, I've been at just. I've been at a point where it's just like, y'all just want to be comfortable, but comfortable is not really where I want to be. Comfortable is easy. Yeah. 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 Comfortable is real easy. Oh, for sure. But it's not where I want to be. Mm-hmm. You're not going to get to that presidential suite. Just no, being comfortable. not it's now. Not, yeah, you can not. be comfortable when you're 50. Yeah, yeah, I'll be comfortable. I don't know when I'm going to be comfortable. <laughs> yeah, but but that's a financial aspect of it. So I don't yeah. like to keep a lot of money in my account. That keeps right. me hungry. I like that. But um, also... In terms of just like mindset, I just want to. I've been I've been crazy in the gym. I don't know if y'all seen me doing my gym stuff. Yeah. But I've been crazy in the gym. Yo, when you see me back in the day, Swasu times, I was I was good, but I was just like skinny, bro. And I don't I don't I don't I don't, I don't know something about you're me. Is, you're, you're like skinny. Ass. I was doing the vegan food that back <laughs> at that time too. So, so I think I think really what it is is. I'm I'm tired of being skinny, so I just I I, I'll probably hit the gym like seven days a week at this point. Jeez, yeah. man. We just got you. back from the gym. Really? Yeah. Before I hit here, I just got I'm from the gym. I went from the gym. That's your outing though. Yeah. That's what that's what kind of gets you yeah, out, and gets facts. you flowing. Like I'll, I'll have a bad day, I'll just go to the gym and I'm cool now. Yeah. You know. So but that was a John Reed gym. I don't know if you ever heard of that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Down yeah. Have, you been there? Downtown. Yeah. You been there? Well, the big no, old fancy I've, gym. I've looked at yeah. 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 It's a club. Yeah. Looked at it. Cause like I'm at some you know whatever. I love it there. Whatever fitness crunch. Takes yeah. family fitness type thing right yeah. now. I'm looking at the lifetimes. Yo, and the, what a John Reed, bro. John Reed. It's 120 dollars a month. Well, the the lifetimes are like 230 a month. A month. That's crazy. And I'm like, what is that? What do you give me? I better get five course meal. Full meals. massage. You get, you get to look at the beautiful. Oh, <laughs> nah, that is the, oh, I forgot you got a girl. Ah, uh, it's a lot of beautiful women there though. A lot of beautiful ones. That Tajay can look at. That, that I can look at. You know, I'm single. <laughs> By the way, I'm single, ladies. I don't know how many ladies you got watching this podcast, but. That one lady that's in there watching that podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talk to me. Let's go. Bring it back down. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. John Reed, though. That's that's a dope gym. Yeah. It's, it's like I've a club, it. though. I think they serve cocktails and all types of stuff. That's cr- oh, yeah. So they've got like a little smoothie bar or a protein they, shake bar or something like that. They got cocktails, bro. Like cocktails, straight up, like cocktails, drinks. Cocktails. <laughs> 
Like, give me like, a shot of vodka before I hit yeah, this set. Like, like, yeah, Carbo that, load. I'm about to PR on this. Give me a shot of pot. <laughs> hey, I wonder how that would feel though. Like if you got if you got like just know. plastered and started like working I got out. A DJ there and everything. Yeah, it's Dang, lit. That's sick. I'm gonna I mean, have to check it out. But it's lit. You gotta go. Yeah, they can do day passes. The and day stuff. pass was free. It was a free day pass. Really? Yeah. yeah I mean, the second day was it cost money. But the first day, <laughs> the first day was free. Oh, the first free. day was free. Like, oh, you're back. Yeah. How about we sixty? Nah, it pretty much was. Pretty much was. That's funny. All right, so like, what what separates you from other other salesmen? What do you? And I know you talk a lot about like Jeez. selling your person, like selling yeah. who you are. And I know that that's a big separation. But like, what what else do you feel separates you from your competition? I think really what separates me is I'm new, so you probably gonna get over on me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you probably gonna get over on me, nah. But uh, I think really what separates me is like I'm I'm understanding. Yeah, I think I'm really just understanding because I know what it's like to not have a car not mm. or just buy a car and it break down and nobody's helping you nobody's talking to you you know i i've, I've been yeah. there we've right. been there we've done that man i man i only it's, we've been there yeah we've so you just there. feel for that other person so I, yeah i just definitely i just got that empathetic you know yeah. That, yeah empathetic vibe to it so i understand when people tell me like oh we don't got it or anything like that right i'm in it for the long game yeah you know? like I've, I've had a sale that i had to do the most for mm. like, like my, my guy was like yo i don't have a ride to the dealership say less i'll go pick you up it's an hour out. I'll go pick right. you up. Let's go bring you this car. I know it, it might not be the car that you want, but it's a car I can get you approved for. Like, yeah, I've done that. I've right. done the drive to do that. I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm willing to take it the extra step, right. you know, because I'm just all about the people, right? you know, because I feel like if if right now, like this whole first car, like this first year of car sales, I'm not even worried about the money. Right. Like, I'm not worried about the money at all. Right now, I'm just worried about building as much relationships yes. as I can build. Yes. And then see where that takes me. Yes. Because it, that, the relationships is where the money is built. Facts. Not just that transactional, I buy a car from me, but I see yep. you later. Like, I'm trying to build a, a business with this. Exactly. I'm trying to get to a point where I'm selling two, three cars a day. People coming just to see me, hopping on TikTok. We giving out we giving out night tickets to the hotel. Like, we Mr. Beast in this joint, giving out free cars every month. Like, yeah. Right. That's where I'm trying to get to. Like, that's exactly where I see it. Yeah, I feel you. But, but it's just definitely going to take some time, obviously. Yeah. And it's going to take some, you know, just me continue doing what I'm doing right now. Because whatever Thanks. I'm doing right now is working. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so I just, I just stick to that. What about content creation? So, like, as you're creating content, okay. what what's going to separate you? That's a good one. That's a good one because I, my content is not unique in any particular fashion. And so you're I trying think, to figure I it out. Anything is unique in any particular no. fashion. I think what I do is I follow. Like if you hop on my TikTok, you see I'm only following like maybe 13 people, right? Because I only want to see something that's that's going to inspire me to film my next video, or whatever. Right. So I only follow people who are who are doing well. Like much better than me. Yeah. And I kind of just like do the same videos they're doing, mm. put my own spin on it, right. put my own personality on it. And then right. if that video is going viral, you already know my video is going right. go viral. Why not do what works? Something, you know? yeah. So so as long as as long as you see what everybody's doing that's working, right. and you kind of implement your own, right. you'll, you'll, you'll do good. As long I feel as you that. stay like true to what you yeah, know. Yeah, true to and, what you do. Yeah. Because then you can, you can continue just... You practice repetition, mm -hmm. and then people aren't like, oh, he's got a video like this, and then he's got a video like that, and yeah. he's got a video like that, and he's like, he's bouncing all over the place. But mm -hmm. if you just continue the same stuff, but keep that steady decline, don't quit before the uphill swing, it just takes time. Yeah. Time is the one thing. I mean, it's something that I even you know read mm -hmm. when I was researching podcasting and stuff like that. I think we have right now like 12 or 13 episodes out right now, but I mean, they said, like, I think, I think they said 60% of podcasts stop after seven. Yeah, seven episodes. Yep. So it's like just keep going. Yeah. What? I w I wouldn't even look at the like what what kind of got me is I was kind of like looking at the views and the likes and I'm mm. like yo okay this video is working let's do more of this let's yeah do, you know and really just just do you just mm. do you don't worry about the likes the follows the views or whatever because like you got to realize how many people are really in this world like how many people is in this world like do you know like the actual number like eight oh, billion? Like billion yeah so let's billion? do let's just say eight billion you say eight billion people in this whole entire world you can't tell me a hundred thousand people not just rocking with just me yeah right and what i got going on like there right. gotta be a hundred thousand people out there in that world just rocking with whatever i put out they just yeah. rock with me that's very true you know it's like so point zero one percent you even yeah, see those exactly. weirdos on tiktok posting yeah. some crazy there's always, shit bro there's weirdos out here. Oh, yeah. And there's weirdos that relate with weirdos. And oh, there's yeah. people that do what you do that relate with what you do. There's exactly. Dudes just peeling shells off of yeah. eggs, getting yeah, you can, bro, six million. I we're, do we're, see that. I watch, Yo, it. We're I in watch a, it. Yeah. We're in a time frame where you can pretty much, you can, I'm not saying you can get rich off anything. You can but, get famous off But anything. you can get famous yeah. off anything because there's so much people in this world that relate to what you got going on. Yep. Yeah. Like, I can literally be tying my shoe and you could probably make a million dollars teaching people how to tie shoes in different knots. Yeah. 
Like real talk. Like just That's true. just just find something that you are passionate about. Talk about it. People will find you. Yeah. Okay. So what do you feel that passion is for you? Because I know that you say you're kind of yeah, yeah. not necessarily leaving, but you, you want to explore your options yeah. in your life and not just car sales. So yeah, like, what yeah. what is that for you? Yeah, I think I think what my, what I what I'm doing. Um, what what makes me dip? I don't know. What are you passionate about? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Hold on a second. That's a hard question. Yeah. What What are you passionate about, man? Like what 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 gets you going? It's okay if it's a hard yeah. question, but yeah, I think I think really what it is, man. Um, what I'm passionate about is. Just being me. Yeah. Like I think everybody thinks that when you do something like, okay, you're the you're the two beers right. and one mic guy. Like that's all you do is beers. Like no, bro, I like to work out too. Right. Like I like to drive cars. Like I, I uh, me, I'm just I just want to be me. I just want to be me because everybody is like, whenever he posts something, like let's say he posts something that goes viral, he can low key only post that one thing. Right. And that's the only thing that's going to go viral in his video. So really, what I'm trying to do is incorporate my personality. Right. Like I just, I just want to be me. Exactly. You know, and yeah. and I think that that just my personality alone, people mm. can relate to. I feel that. You know, so I don't want to just be doing car sales and just talking about cars. Like I really don't care about right. that. I just want to be me. If I if I want to go to the gym tomorrow, I want people that's going to rock with me because I'm going to the gym. Right. If I want to go whatever if yeah. i want to talk about candy like people yeah. like candy like we are we're like Facts. we're human beings so we like different things yeah. we don't have to just talk about one thing right it's not just about the I beer mean, it's not about the car sales it's not about you know it's me I yeah there's people on tiktok that sit down and they'll yeah. uh you know they want to everyone wants to be famous nowadays everybody I mean, wants even, to be famous you know, man. we got people commenting on our on our man. videos saying it's crazy saying oh hey, we should start a podcast bro like, yeah. like stuff like that it's like man i mean we're not a we're not doing this to be famous would it be okay. a great advantage yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Talk to me. But guess what? <laughs> right. Like it's fun. Yeah, I mean, we get to drink. Great. We have a couple spot like we have a couple like pending sponsorships on yeah. stuff where we can like get free stuff out of yeah. I mean, not that's not what we're doing, but yeah. you know, the fact that it's benefited us that way. And then you got mm -hmm. some people out there that are just they're sitting down with a pad and paper going like what do I do? What do I do? What do, what should I do that goes viral? And it's like that's yeah. not the point. Yeah. Like the point is You just gotta do it. Yeah. You need to do something that, that that you enjoy that 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 embodies you because mm -hmm. then it's easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! Like, if you do one video, okay, let's say you did five videos, one goes viral, and you're just sitting there like thinking of random ass stuff to do in like these TikTok videos. Well, guess what? One went viral, and then you're like, oh my gosh! Like, this is working. Well, yep. no. Like, now you have to spend all this time thinking again. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be that hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, just do yeah. what you do. I mean, yeah. I, I I do strategically post sometimes. Yeah. Like, okay, cool. Well, this yeah. video is blowing up. Let's stick to that yeah. type of video. <laughs> yeah. But I also try to like I also try to just. Throw in, throw in something different. Right. Like, like I don't know if you seen the video, but I like just busted out of those like um, what is it called? Like little zip, 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 zip ties. Yeah, zip ties. Yeah, I just bust. I like, I bet my manager fifty dollars. I bust out of zip ties. Nothing to do with car sales. Nothing to do with you know. Nothing to do with anything like that. Yeah. But it's just showing me and my personality. Right. You know? There's and more to you than just cars. Exactly. Yeah. Like I'm not a car salesman. I'm not a car salesman. Nah. You know, I I'm a just a regular person that sells cars. Right. Yeah. You know. I'm so, with you. So I don't want to be like known as the car salesman on TikTok like y'all just sell cars. I just sell cars. It's like, just part of you. I might I might tomorrow I might be a f trying to go to pharmacy school again. <laughs> yeah. You know, I I might be I don't know like You just want to be really, known as Tajay. Yeah, I just yeah, I'm just Tajay, yo. I sell cars. I'm your podcast. I live <laughs> and I live life. Yeah, and I that, live that. life, you know? Like and just... I love Crackberry Bishop. <laughs> hey, and that Crackberry joint. Yeah. I'm with one it. of those one more time. No, I feel but yeah, it. I think I think a lot of people gotta kinda get it confused. Yeah. You know, because mm. I'm just I'm just trying to be me. I feel oh. you. So how would if somebody like didn't know how to like start all that, what's what is gonna be some advice that you would give them of like, hey, start here? Or okay. like or like go this way. Go like how would you lead them? So so let's let's I used to I used to think life is about finding yourself. Right. You know, but I think it's more about creating yourself. Mm. So whatever you want to do, document your journey. Mm. That's all life really is. Like document your journey mm. on doing the things that you want to do and people will relate with that journey. So oh, wow. whether whether you're a forex trader, like I know I used to do the forex trading a little bit ago, man. Yeah. I used to do that. And I was just just document your journey because like People have people have seen me and they've noticed like okay you were doing this and you're doing this everybody's doing something different next year right you know so I think just document your journey and your entire process of what you're doing and, and life and that's kind of what I'm doing right mm. now 
because you'll see some of my older TikToks blew up from the pharmacy stuff. Yeah. Right. You know, so so it's just like, yo, oh, you're a pharmacy. Now you're doing car sales. It's like, yeah, bro, I'm just oh, I'm out here trying to figure this thing out just like the rest of us. Right. You know, Because eventually you could just get paid off being Dodge. Yeah, that's all. I'm Exactly. <laughs> like, oh, no matter what I'm doing, <laughs> right. yo, follow me through this adventure of life. <laughs> right. Because like that's what we're all just trying to do. You yeah. Know? So it's not about the car sales. It's not about the pharmacy. It's not about anything like that. It's just like. We all have a unique journey through life. Excellent. And I feel like if you portray that and you document that, people will actually relate to what you got going on. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I think just start wherever you're at right now and end wherever it possibly can be. end. Yeah. You know, because you don't know where it's gonna end. I don't know where it's gonna end. That's I don't fair. know where life is gonna take us. That's fair. You know, so just we're gonna have you on next time, and you're gonna be like, "What are you doing now?" Yeah, I'm, like, I'm selling like, homes. I'm a, <laughs> yeah, I'm a real, I'm a real estate agent. I'm a butcher. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm serious. Like, I'm a vegan in college. Now he's a butcher. <laughs> but it's for real though. Like right. that's how life is, man. You don't know where this going to go. No. Know? So yeah, I might, I might have a girl tomorrow, and might not have a girl next week. You know. That's true. Yeah, 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 you never, you, you just knows? never know. But I think really what it is is just enjoying where you're at. Yeah. Taking advantage of where you're at. Yeah. You know and. That's all you can pretty much ask for, you know. Yeah, and, yeah you don't know where it's going to go. True. Well, one last question I have for you is to take it a little bit off, not off track, but like not as serious. Yeah. Um, from you know, from what you know about our personalities. Yeah. What vehicle are okay. each of us, including yourself? Okay, including myself. I'm, including I'm definitely a, like a Mercedes type. I've been a Mercedes. <laughs> been a Mercedes. My first car was Popped a Mercedes. Mercedes. <laughs> My second car was a Mercedes. Oh. My third car was a Toyota Camry. <laughs> like, my fourth car was a Mercedes. We had to get back to it, but yeah, Mercedes for me. Uh, any t any Mercedes. I'm I'm a luxury. I like luxury. Luxury. I like luxury. Don't know let that. this do rag fool you. Bro. Like, <laughs> I, I pull out that. Underneath polo. it is just ah, the pull sickest that, waves. Ah, pull out that polo. <laughs> sickest waves underneath here. We yeah, might do a right. wave check later in the, in the, in the oh, yeah. podcast. But but yeah, uh, for me for me Mercedes. For you, I feel like a uh, man. Don't disrespect me now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. it, it gotta be a truck. It gotta be a truck. All right. I've always seen you in these bigger vehicles. True. Like, ah, we gonna talk about that. We gotta talk about that. What? We gotta talk about that. Man. <laughs> we gotta talk about the DoorDash, Uber Eats, oh. Postmate times of my life. Yeah. That was you, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, let, me, let me let me get to it. Let me get to it right, real quick. Let me get to it real quick. What right, you so got? For you, I, I'm, I'm thinking truck too. Okay. I'm thinking gotta be a truck. I'm with it. Yeah, you talking about boats and all this? Like, you yeah. gotta have a truck to build that boat. Got so, to, man. Got so to. probably uh, probably like a, I'm thinking like a more countryer truck for you, but okay. more like a like a luxury truck for you. Okay. Like probably like a Ram Appreciate Limited it. Elite, you know, like a more right. Longhorn maybe. Yeah. You know? uh, I'll take that. But I'm thinking yeah. you more like a like a um, I seen a Ford Raptor out there. So yeah, it's see, stuck, it's with, me. Hard. It's stuck with me right now. So I'm just say like a more performance, like you yeah. know, like a TRX or something. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. I don't know. Oh, the mush yeah. so clean. Yeah, 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 yeah. My yeah. man, like, you got me with the Ram Limited Elite? Like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't give me nothing better now, Ram Limited Elite. Stay yeah, with your little luxury truck having that. All right. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> nah, but back in the day, I used to, um, I didn't have a car, but I was trying to, like, I think my car broke down. Yeah, okay. That was, a, that was a Toyota Camry. Did I go? Okay. Was that you I went and towed? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. We got a, I got like a, a video, I got a video on my Snapchat. Yeah. I to, <laughs> no we shit. had a, we had a rope tied yeah. to my car to his car. Oh, bro. He, yeah, yeah. We go way back. We go way back. We go through the. You got to figure out a way to put yeah. that Snapchat yeah. video up yeah. on there. That would be oh, funny. I think I still got it. I think I still got it. You need to send it to me, and I'll just like throw it up right, right above, right in the like, middle. Like, bro, that was the most horrible time of my life, bro. Like, oh man, Dang. I had to actually because I'm still trying to make money. Like, yeah, I'm still trying to make money at this time, but. I had to ask him. I was like, "Bro, I'll give you fifty bucks if you let me take your car to the city, so I can go Postmate." Like, I, like, and yeah. I'll pay him fifty bucks. I'll go make a hundred, come back and give him fifty. I only made fifty for the day. <laughs> yeah. But I'm like, I don't know. If I stayed I with you, I would have made nothing. Yeah, even, facts. I don't even think it was that. I think it was just like I was like, "Bro, you can have it. Just fill the like." Yeah, yeah. Fill the gas fill tank the, back up. Fill the gas tank back. This, up. this man had a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Yeah. <laughs> he wanted me to fill the gas tank back up. I went out there and delivered food for eight hours. And I made probably like sixty bucks. I went back to put sixty bucks in his gas tank. I didn't make any money, but I did that for like a week. That's I don't know why. That's called. <laughs> that's called passive income right there like that is that's freaking that funny, is called man. passive income but man like talk uh, about a grind though man talk about a grind that's crazy because that makes me, i'm sorry but that just makes me think of about like just people who aren't like willing to do jack shit yeah, what you know what i'm saying was that anyway i forgot it was a 05 jeep grand cherokee yeah <laughs> it was a v8 
Got that Hemi engine in Yo, it. Yo, that mug was horrible. Oh, yeah. It was. That is not what you want to <laughs> use to deliver food. Let me tell you. Like, yo. It was like 17 to the gallon. Best believe I stopped delivering food. This <laughs> After the first weekend, he was like, uh, you know what? Uh, it's not making sense. <laughs> it's not making any dollars. I'm going to use someone else's car. <laughs> That's freaking But I appreciate yeah. you for letting me yeah, use it at the time, bro. I had to beg him. Don't, don't get me wrong. I had to beg him. I had to show him proof of income. <laughs> I was like, I had to I leave my care. ID with him. Like he was like this random black dude wants to use my car. <laughs> we wasn't even cool like that back in the time. Like I was, just, time. I was just hoping you were gonna bring it back. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> please, on, please God, just let these be let one of these back. cool Negroes. <laughs> let these be one of these cool black people. Wait, wait, <laughs> I've seen this on a documentary before. <laughs> I, am I getting punked? <laughs> I just let a black guy take my car. He never came back. Never came back. Hey, that's, oh, that's funny, man. I'm, I'm one of the good ones. I'm one of yeah, the good yeah, ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, he, nah, and, sure. and he brought it back. And he, and he brought it back. There you go. See? With a full tank, <laughs> With a full of, tank of gas yeah. and no money. <laughs> <laughs> and $20 less in his pocket than what he left with. I swear to God, Dang. bro. Like, oh, my goodness. That's fun to look back on. I was trying on. to hustle, though. I was trying to make it happen, man. Bags. Well, now DoorDash is, like, taking over as, like, yeah. like well, they everything. actually pay – their guys actually are pretty good. Like Uber yeah. pays nothing, mm. I guess is what I've heard. But yeah, I think like, DoorDash is the move right now. DoorDash yeah. is paying people like pretty good, like pretty good amount of money. Yeah, I've get... already like graduated from that point in my life though. I can't deliver. No, food you can't no do more. that anymore. Yo, did I tell you about the um the Dub Eats, bro? Did I tell I've, you? About yes, that? I, I've seen it. Yeah, you heard about me. Oh, so yeah, the like, whole Instagram. Or so like, about yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. So in 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 Weatherford, okay, they didn't have any DoorDash, Postmates, or anything right. like that. And I'm trying to figure out how to make money. Like this was actually the time I was going to. So I was in pharmacy school. So I was I had left, but I had seen it because mm-hmm. you followed me or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And I followed. I was like, all right, bro. Like, oh yeah, whatever. I wasn't I wasn't whatever there anymore. Doing <laughs> again, like, <laughs> I was like, that's actually a pretty good idea. All right. <laughs> I was like, dang, we should have done that when we were. Nah, right. Facts, facts, facts. So like, basically, what it was, I was actually so I was in pharmacy school at the time. Had my mom out there. We were throwing parties at the crib. Let's start with that. We were throwing parties at the crib, charging people to get in, like yeah. 10, 15, 20 bucks a night, wristbanding uh-huh. them up, like everything. Like we were throwing the craziest parties in Weatherford. We had my sister back there bartending three dollars for the mixed drinks, one dollar for the shots, like. Mm-hmm. We had a little four dollar, we four hundred dollars. had it nights, going. Yeah, we yeah. were making money doing that. So I was like, "What else can we possibly do?" It was like, "We can do, we can do Dub Eats, like kind of like an Uber Eats, but Dub Eats. Everybody follow us on Snapchat. Send us your order. We'll go deliver it to you for five dollars. Like, so like it'll be like, let me get a Big Mac, a number one meal with a Sprite, and then send me your address. I'll go pick it up, deliver it to you. And it's Weatherford, so it's like a small yeah. town. So we was making pretty good money doing yeah. that. Facts, because we everything's making, close. We we're making pretty good money doing that. The only thing is like, time and the money didn't mm. really correlate. You know, because mm. I had to be on clock at all times, you know, yeah. to like get the orders. Like, it's only yeah. me. Right. It's only me out there. Yeah, you know? fair, and, fair, fair. And, I, and I have a job, too. Right. So I had to either like, yo, I had to outsource it sometimes. Like, yo, bro, can you please go pick up this guy's number one for me real quick? Like, yeah, yeah. like, please go Thanks. pick it up so we can just keep his business running. But yeah, we made pretty good money doing that. And that was a cool Sick. little, that helped my mom, you know, I had to, you know, pay for the rent doing that. The parties helped pay for the rent. Like, I was just trying to figure out a way to make some money. Yeah. Like, I was Sick. just like, whatever we can possibly do. Everybody else thought we was just, like, trying to have fun and do, bro, no. Like, it was a business. Like, we got bills to, to pay. Like, like, I'm not back there drinking with y'all. Yeah, like, yo, I'm I'm at the door collecting the bread, wristbanding. We're doing pre-sales. We're doing Sick. dub eats. Like, I'm still working at Walgreens, 15-hour shifts. Damn, crazy man that's so crazy. You, that's, why, that's crazy. why i was like i gotta have this man on he, yeah he, i love that thing. he's I the definition that. of like just just yeah. man i want to i want to make it yeah and i'm gonna do anything it takes Whatever to get there takes, and i mean you 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 got this you got this incline going yeah. and just keep it up keep and going, next man. time we're on you'll have yeah. Two hundred thousand. I mean, how many? We'll see, how I many followers like 60, you got? I don't even. I haven't Sixty even something. Let's not. Let's. I haven't checked. Let's check. Do we check real? Yeah, quick? check yeah, real check. quick. What <laughs> you got? Check. I, I don't do know. I have, what's the number on it? Let me see. Let me see right now. I know that if I if I had over fifty thousand, I would easily be checking it once a day. Oh yeah. yeah. I'll be che- I'll be checking more of my. I was Facebook. checking I was checking the view count every two minutes to see if it go up nine. And I'd be like, yeah. "There's nine more." Yeah, we got nine <laughs> views on this one. <laughs> yeah. Talk yeah. to me. Let's go. So I'm at sixty two point five k on TikTok right now. Um, is that what you exploded on first? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah, just yeah. Blew up like, on? From that video, I got like maybe seven k followers on Facebook now. Like, okay, Facebook, dang, Facebook. I Facebook. Tell you, Facebook is where my money at right now. Like, hold on a second. Like, right, you're telling us about those ad deals earlier yeah, or got, those reels. Yeah, yeah. So I get so I post the same reels. Like, I will post a reel on TikTok. If it blows up, then I'll post it on I'll post it on Facebook. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, and I'll just kind of keep that because Facebook is where my money coming from right now with the ad reels and everything like that. Right. So let me let me see if I can if I can show y'all. 
I hear YouTube Shorts is like another yeah. Yeah. big time kind of because everyone's. I guess YouTube right now is the second. So Google owns YouTube. Google's <laughs> the number one search engine in the nation or world, and YouTube is actually the second. Like not Yahoo, not Bing. It's actually YouTube is the second biggest search, search engine. engine. And so, like, all those people going on there, mm -hmm. looking at stuff, and then the shorts are just, or yep. YouTube shorts are just posted right yep. there. I so, mean, apparently that's blowing up. Yeah. So just right now, like, I know it's not nothing, but we have 472 for the month. That's sick, bro. That's crazy, right? Like, that's just I have zero. That's extra bread. Yeah, like, I was about you know to say, I, mean? I have like, zero. Like, no. hey, if, if, if two beers had that, we'd have a second camera. Right. right. We, hey. we wouldn't have to worry about these uh, wide shot issues. Hey. We'd be have a we'd have a camera for you and a camera for me and a camera for Stone. Exactly. That wide shot is hitting it, though. Hey, I'll shout tell out to you wide what. shot. Kind of shout out to, uh, to Sony. Yeah. Worry about setting up these mics. We'd have a guy in here working yeah. for a Man. $10 an hour. Bro. Videographer goes crazy. Yeah, he's videographers. Good. Yeah, you, that's bro. Most of my success lately has been because of my videographer. Really, I've been paying my video. Man, I'm out of money right now. Mm -hmm. Yo, I, I've been paying my videographer whatever he want. You know, because the I don't know if you see you see the videos I be posting. Like they, some of them, like the, you can tell that the professional ones. Yeah, they hitting. You know, yeah. but man, he. I think I was I was paying him like five hundred a week. Like oh my God. crazy, like that's dang. That's a lot of money, a, but it was it, it was my my TikTok is going up. I'm like, yo, whatever you want, <laughs> whatever it. you want, I'm gonna give it to you, bro. Like whatever you need. So it got to a point where I was like, okay, well now I'm out of money, so I guess I'll start doing my own videos yeah. now. <laughs> so uh, bring out the phone. So uh, I'll see you next. Uh, give me six more months to accumulate <laughs> some wealth, and I'll see you again. And I'll hire you for a week. Yeah. So the last three videos of my TikTok was me. Shout out to me. <laughs> <laughs> We're out of money. <laughs> that's be like that funny. sometimes. Man, How like, long have y'all been working together, you and your videographer? Uh, probably since February. Sick. February, January, February, March, February. You yeah, decided, so long, hey, man. like I have, I have to do this to like. Yeah, that dude is. Yeah, he's good. He's mm -hmm. really good at what he does because he kind of he understands uh, today's social media world. You know, a lot of people, there's videographers that don't really understand. Right. The, like, bro, this like is like what's trending. Yeah, like this is how I want you to film it. Now show me how we should film it. Because you ever had an idea, right? You kind of don't know how to film it, right? Like it's I get a good idea, but you don't know how to film it. That's when a videographer comes in. Well, like, we Yo, literally we'll do it like this. Two and weeks I'm like, ago. Okay, snap. Cool. Yeah. We were gonna do like we're trying. So obviously we're in the podcast world. And we're yep. trying to get into like more. We, we want to sep, not really separate, but we want to do oh. YouTube as well. Okay. And so we were gonna do a golf mm. video. And that's exploding right now. Everyone's doing golf videos now. Oh really? So we were like, all right, let's just do a YouTube video about golf. But mm -hmm. we had. We had three cameras, but only it was me and you and your fiance, mm -hmm. and there was just no way like his ball was. It just okay. doesn't make yeah, it was yeah. taking thirty minutes to take one yeah, it's, one and, hole. And exactly, it's like, and that's what the videographer comes into play because he'll kind of tell you like what strategically how to film the video. Because yeah. I have so many video ideas, it's like yo, I don't know how to film it. So it's like you pretty much where'd you find idea. them. Do you, do you reach out to high school with him? Oh, okay, okay, sick. With him. Yeah, he been he been like seeing me do my thing or whatever. You know, I've, I've always been on like a social media thing, you know, mm. just trying to like you know trying to right. figure this whole social right. media thing out. So he'd be like, "Yeah, I see what you're doing, my bro. I can help you out, bro. It's been helping me out crazy. Mm. Yeah, you know. That's but sick. it got to a point where yeah, I can't afford him no more. So got to go back to where you was doing. <laughs> <laughs> we out of money, guys. You got to start selling some more cars, I guess. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, three cars this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah manifest. Yeah, we're gonna do something. We're gonna do something. Yeah. It's all sure, good. for sure, for sure. I love it. No, that was a good part, man. I appreciate you coming on. Yeah, so we'll yeah, get on to the balls to the, the wall board. Balls to the wall. Board. Balls balls to the wall. Yeah. Right. Yo, 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 yo. Two beers and one mic. Balls to the wall. We have here our little spinner. Wheel of fortune. So I'm not going to show it on the screen. We're just going to spin it and see what we get here. But we'll let uh, we'll let Tajay go. So here's how you rank them, all right? Okay, let's do it. So you got steer sack. That, okay, mean, that means you got there. nothing. Okay, I see that him over there. That means your sack yeah. is Teeny nuts. shriveled. And you got teeny nuts, you know, little Orbi sized nuts, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. Yeah. You, you know, you get a car that you like, which you don't love, you know, that's yeah. regular balls. You got a couple eggs down there. Mm -hmm. And then if you find a car, like if you, if you see someone driving this car and you're you like, dude, Mercedes. you got some, you got some yeah. balls yeah. on you, son. Yeah, Black so, Widow. Yes, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, Black Widow, you know. You know what I'm saying? All right, so here we go. We're going to spin this wheel and uh, whatever it lands up, we'll give you first crack at it. Let's do you it. You ready? Tesla Model S. Tesla Model S. An S. You got you got teeny nuts. You got, you got, Nowadays. Like in, like in terms Nowadays. of like what kind of car you could probably be driving that's better than that in terms of nut size. <laughs> you so probably got teeny nuts. You got an electric car. Those things are so electric car base model that's for like nuts. twenty. I feel like six. I feel yeah. like if you got big nuts, you got a gas guzzler. Yeah. 
Okay. Like you don't care about this the environment. Environment. <laughs> you got it. You got big old nuts. You don't care. No. So teeny nuts. Teeny nuts. For a Tesla yeah. model. Not a steer sack because I feel like you got money though. Yeah. So you, you you can't. You gotta have some type of. Nuts you got a Y or a. I don't know. Or a plaid. I'm a. I don't know any type of Tesla team. I want a Tesla though, by the way. That'd be still, sick. But still, teeny nuts. You'll take teeny nuts. I, can, I can't wait to get a Tesla. That'd be sick. All right, I can't Stone, wait to get a Tesla. We'll give you one ready. I want a Tesla. Those Tesla plaids. Yeah, man, I, I want a oh. Tesla. Still teeny nuts. So though. you got a Mercedes Benz. Oh, AMG. see, mm. AMG. We'll say what? CLS three hundred. Let's say let's say AMG sixty three S. Okay. Yeah. What is that? Sedan? Hey, no, it's not a sedan. What is oh, it? yeah, it's a sedan. It's, it's, like, it? a, it's like a little right. hatchback. Like a, uh, it's like a sports back. So Mercedes Benz, AMG. Don't get me wrong, guys. 63S. We Let's do see beers. this mugs with. Oh, see. Yeah. Man, yeah. I would drive the shit yeah. out of this car. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not yeah. going to lie to you, man. Yeah. You got to put it up on the screen whenever yeah, you do it. Yeah, put that up on. That's actually my dream car. So um, I'm going to go with Shrek nuts. If I, I tell you what. So, like, I, I do love trucks, but I love me some luxury, man. Yeah. And if I just had, like, a little luxury cruiser, mm -hmm. that would be it. I'm going to. That's a $100,000 car. Yeah. Oh, easy. $100,000 car. Just a luxury cruiser. Yeah, yeah. Big cojones, for yeah. sure. Because yeah. you, you got to have some money. That or like a like a Lamborghini. What are those uh, the yeah. Lamborghini trucks? Mm, Urus. 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 Those yeah, you got are big clean. nuts with that one too. Yeah. I was yeah, in just yeah, a little yeah. story. I was in New York City eating it in Times Square. Yeah. And this dude came out, and he got there was a one parked right there, and he he fired it up, and I was like, oh my gosh, mm. I did not expect it. And that thing sounded like sounds like so a sick. legit Venino mm. or something. Like I was like, what it's the crazy. frick, dude? It was like. It started up, and I was like, "What the? This is a car. Yeah, this is wait, a, this is a hatchback. That wait. thing was loud." Oh, dude, I'm telling you. I don't know why I feel a little tipsy though. Like, See, I'll tell like you, I'm not like, I'm like whoa, 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 what a second right now. I'm like, I'm low key, like, I'm just listening to you talk. I'm like, I feel like low key, like, did we smoke some weed? Or right, like, what's right. going on? So we got big cojones yeah. on the Mercedes. Big cojones for the yeah. Mercedes. All right, yeah, I'm up. Know. Here we go. What we got? Grand Wagoneer. Mm. The Grand Wagoneer is pretty sick. It is. It's got the, the night extra vision. screen. It got like three screens yeah. on it, four screens on it. What? It got yeah. massage seats in the. It's Come like on. it's like the it, so, like the Kia Telluride yeah. was the most sold car of like 2020. Come down the John Vance Auto Group <laughs> here to get your Jeep Grand Wagoneer <laughs> on me, Tajay. Come down. All right, my bad. Go ahead. Then, uh, it's your boy Taj. Oh, okay. Had to, ahead, had to throw it in there. Right, throw that in there. And then, and then the uh, the Ford Bronco, like the legit one, came yeah. out, and that kind of took over. Mm -hmm. um, but I would say the Grand Wagoneer, man, you gotta have some. Yeah. I'm gonna give it regular balls, bro. But... I seen somebody got a used Grand Wagoneer, bro. Used twenty thousand miles when it paid ninety six thousand dollars. Yeah, it's crazy. That's some balls for the four door. Yeah. That I mean, do we really have balls? He probably got like four kids, four or five kids. Though. Right. So he's like shriveled. He's out of so it you, Yeah, point. you got steer sack. <laughs> you got to you gotta think about that on the real. Like, you low key. I ain't gonna lie. You didn't buy that for you. No. You no, didn't no, buy that for, for, for the family. You, so that you for ain't the got wife. no balls. But at the same time, it's like you got big balls for the family, though. Yeah. But you got little balls for yourself. That's right. Oh, it's so twice one. regular balls. Yeah. Regular yeah. balls. <gasps> steer sack. <laughs> Bro, you got to. Oh, 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 my bad. Uh, yeah, big balls big with the balls Grand Wagoneer. The Grand Wagoneer. Yeah. Come John get you Vance some Auto big Group. balls. You're at the John Vance Auto Group Grand <laughs> Wagoneer. Are right, you ready for your second one? Yeah, let's do it. All right, here we go. Ready? Dodge Neon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dodge Neon. Um, Yeah, you got steer sack, bro. Yeah. Get your, get, like, get him open. I'm not one to tell you get your money up, but get your money up and, and get something real. Uh, Dodge Neon, it, it's not reliable. Like I, I work for Dodge. Like, bro, get something different. He didn't even know what it was. I didn't even know uh -huh. what exactly. I had to tell him what it was. Yeah. So yeah. if a Dodge dealership salesman does not know what a Dodge Neon is, stay away from. Maybe it. don't buy it. Yeah. yeah. Stay away from it. That choice. So I, I, yeah, I would probably say, I don't know. I'm rocking with the Jeeps lately. Like the Jeep Grand Cherokees, they go mm. crazy. They kind of look like Range Rovers. Mm. I didn't think about that. So just now, yeah, they, they look like Range to, Rovers. They started to look. I don't like Range Rovers though. No. Or do Range Rovers look like it? Yeah, no, that's true. Mm. That's true. Who's really? Who's really the top dog? The top dog. I heard Ooh. Range Rovers break down. Yeah, they I do heard, yeah. bad. But at the same time, like I don't know. Like you gotta think about it. most of the stuff is like people. Are like, oh, that car's not reliable. Like, girl, it's a Lamborghini. I don't yeah. care about how reliable this goddamn Lamborghini is. Facts. 
Oh, my Lamborghini only I'm gets... I'm only driving it on Tuesday. Nine to the gallon. <laughs> yeah. well, what did you expect? Yeah. You bought a Lamborghini. Yeah. Yeah. It's a V10. Yeah, if I get on the side <laughs> of the road, I'm going to have somebody else drop off another Lamborghini, and then I'm going to figure that out. Later. Go off. Yeah, who cares? Yeah. Yeah. The, only, the only reason funny. you should have a Lamborghini is to go from zero to a quarter mile. Yeah. And then that's it. Yeah, you turn man, around and you go another quarter mile back home. Yeah, take it to yeah. the club, park it outside. Like, yeah. Let people look at it. Let people look at you it. You tow yeah. it to the club. Yeah. You <laughs> back it up off yeah. the, the trailer. Leave it there. And then you turn it on. <laughs> you throw it right back on the trailer. Yeah, yeah. And you try to see if Bianca or Jessica is in the club. <laughs> Say hey, you want to go? You want to go sit in a Lamborghini? They're yeah. like, don't you mean ride? And you're nope, like, no, nope. it. I gotta have somebody tow it. Back <laughs> <home>. <laughs> I gotta tow it back home. This mug don't drive. You thought this Lamborghini <laughs> drive? I barely can afford it. <laughs> it actually doesn't have any gas in it. I just yeah, I'm, able, I'm able to yeah, start. We got an Uber yeah. home. I can't. I'm drunk right now. Got, I'm drunk right now. We got Two three miles. On, like I'm drunk, baby. Ain't happening. That's freaking funny. So what you got for the Dodge Neon Steer Sack? No, yeah, Steer Sack. Okay, for sure. Yeah, I don't even know what the, what that is. All right, <laughs> All right Stone. Honda Civic. Civic. Oh, oh, reliable. I'm regular ball. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say. I was gonna say uh, just because I knew so many people in high school that that was like their first car, like mm-hmm. your Honda Civic or your uh, Nissan yeah. Altima mm-hmm. or something like that. You know, know what I'm saying? You know about that Nissan Altima? <laughs> yeah, well, like you know. a, a ghetto girl. Toyota Nissan Camry. Altima. <laughs> you think so? Ghetto girls. Toyota Camrys is like. I feel like Toyota Camrys. All right, let's like let's all right. Toyota Camry, Honda Civic, Nissan Altima, Nissan Altima, ghetto girls, whipping that thing. Need an oil change, been past due. Honda Civic. They don't even know it. They don't even know that oil changes are a yeah. thing. Yeah, I think Honda Civic is more like daddy's money type. Yeah, mm. oh, we got daddy's money. You know, y'all know. Look about at my cute that. little y'all know car, about that, right? Y'all know about daddy's money. Do I? Yeah, do do I? <laughs> I I've worked hard for everything <laughs> in my life. <laughs> Does no, my flat. skin color give that away? <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, yeah, daddy's money with the Honda Civic, Toyota Camry, more of like a. Just like a responsible family, like just trying to figure the reliability out. Yeah. Because I feel like if you really had a choice, you'd probably go with the Honda Civic. I wouldn't yeah. take a Camry. But no, the newer Camrys, they are going They're crazy, not bad. though. Have you seen the, the newer uh, Camrys? Especially the Kia with Stingers. Bro, that's, bro. Those that's things different. are sick. That's different. I sold a Kia Stinger. Really? The yeah. GT? Bro drove all the way from Dallas, that's actually. Wolf Gray? Wolf Gray. Was it? Yeah. Dude. On some Miley Cyrus. See? And my Wolf Gray. Like, Dude, yeah. those are clean. I'm telling you. And they're not, their they MSRP the v- is like 40? Yeah, I think it was a V8. Uh, I think it was a V8, too. A rear, rear wheel drive. So it's Jeez. nice. Bro. I, I want one, actually. Got the red yeah. racing It seats. had the red interior yep. with the Wolf Gray. It was like the generic one. Oh, see. Yeah. yeah, and it was a GT2. Yeah. It was nice. <laughs> Come I was selling for like 40000 Yeah, that's well, sporty grill. It was one. Sporty. You wanted to match the Raptor. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I really do want a Kia Stinger though. That's probably, like, in terms of like my, what my next car might be, uh, probably be a Kia Stinger. I think I'm looking. Yeah. I, I can't fit in a car. I don't really want a car right now though. But if I were to do like a, I think if I'm gonna do anything next, it'd probably be one of those, not a sport, but a regular Bronco. My man just said that all nonchalantly. I really can't fit in a car. What do you think, uh, you Shaq or something? <laughs> You, who do you, how tall are you for real? Closer right? to Shaq than I am to normal size. I yeah, how tall are you for real, bro? Six six. How tall is Shaq? Seven, Seven one. That's one. not that's not Shaq. You can fit in a car. Just adjust your seat. It's gonna be a big <laughs> car. It's gonna but be a I big don't want to keep car. getting in and out of. My man said, "You want me to be looking like this in the car?" <laughs> Drive right here. I didn't. I didn't know you could. I was wondering why you had that G Grand Cherokee. <laughs> he said I couldn't fit in a regular car, bro. Yeah, like, this is like it's a bit of problem with me. <laughs> My my height big, shoes big, feet right. big, drive big, it's, it's big. Not, big. It, has nothing, it has nothing to do with not fitting in the car. It's getting out yeah. and in. Oh uh, yeah, and he in. got he got problems. I feel that he you got problems. I wish I had. Bro, I'm short. Yeah, I yeah. fit in every car. <laughs> You're, that's a, perfect. Yeah, that's yeah. okay though. Once you graduate college, yeah. if you did any kind of college sport or yeah. anything, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, really, height, height never really matter. stopped my. Yeah, it really ain't stopped my game. If like, I still get bad. Bad women, if you gorgeous women. So if I think you that's are above six to, right? three, there's no point. Yeah, I think I think what, wherever I'm at right now, I think I'm like five. I think I'm like five, uh, five eight and a half. Okay, five eleven, maybe, maybe five seven ish. <laughs> no, but I think it, it's never really stopped nothing. I don't know. Maybe before when I was like a little insecure about it. Yeah. Well, nowadays but now it's like yo, you can't even say anything about it because it's yeah, it, it's a. Uh, what? Shaming or something. I don't oh, know. oh, he's height. Don't height shame me, guys. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> don't height shame me. Sure. <laughs> if you say, "Oh, I like that guy," and they're like, "Oh, why? Because he's tall." Nah, because he's short. Oh, I like he's my short. little short. Hey, shout out to the short kings that still like to drink beer. 
Shout out to y'all drive short Mercedes. and drive Mercedes and actually can fit in a car. Oh, yeah. Actually fit in a Mercedes. Yeah. That's why I love Can't them, too. So, yeah. yeah. Mercedes not made for uh, Yeah, Mercedes not made for tall people. It's made I'll, buy, for I'll buy the AMG C13 yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll fit C13, in that. 13, 13. Nothing else. Yeah. Thanks. Probably yeah, not Honda Civic's gonna have to go under regular nuts, though. I mean, it's it's yeah. a solid, you yeah. know, solid, solid car. Hey, solid car hey, by the way, by the way, like that AMG sixty three like S, that's kind of like comparable to that Kia Stinger, though, low key. Mm. Like, have you, the, have you seen it? Have you seen the interior of it? Oh, you mean comparable, like just like style. all around, like all around, just like I'm not gonna say like horsepower or nothing, right. but like it's pretty close, bro. Like just I in design. Stingers, yeah. I think the Stingers are like. Luxury look for mm-hmm. not luxury price. Not, not, yeah, I mean it's a Kia, so they can't charge too much. Right. But you know that actually the the uh, I, I guess like the the head designer of BMW came to Kia and they made that car. Mm. Well, you know that like every I think car, I don't know fact every, check that every car brand's owned by like three different. Yeah, like I think Volkswagen owns Lamborghini and Ferrari. Oh really? And yeah. Oh, they're Lamborghini. all under the same umbrella. Oh, so you said there's three companies that own all the companies. All the companies. <laughs> all right. No, for real, it's like GM. Volkswagen and someone else. Yeah. And it's, they own everything. Yeah. Y'all really need some more of that crackberry beer. I tell you, man. We'll go get you some. Yo. <gasps> we might have to make that dry. Like, that was good, bro. Like, I'm oh, telling man. you. We'll have to go to White Rock Ale House. Bring some back. Get some uh, fuzzy jammies. Fluffy nice. jammies. Fluffy jammies. <laughs> Fluffy jammies. That mug was good. That's All right, regular. here we go. All my, right. my last one. We got. Oh, already did it. <laughs> oh, already did it. Twice in a row. That's crazy. Skyline. Ooh. Little, uh, little Brian. Brian Brian O'Connor. Brian O'Connor. Yeah. Fast and Furious. Yo. That was favorite movie. movie. Favorite movie. I I just seen a new one. Was it good? Bro, (laughs) stop playing with me. I'm not even going. I'm never going to ever disrespect a fast. I don't care how bad it. Like it was. It was a good movie. But I don't care what they put out. I'm liking it. Nine. It's it's kind of like a Drake song, song, bro. bro, We love it. Any song he put out, I'm in. Uh, that, come on, like bro. Fast and Furious Nine, when he drove onto that the moon? cable, uh, and then like, I don't care. And then he like shit. I'm like, wanna, I'm I don't want to hear what? nothing, bro. I love it. I'm like, happen. what? Yeah, I'm so engaged. Yeah, with yeah man. like, oh, we're gonna you take be a, professional to do that. We're gonna take stuff. a Fiero and uh, yeah. be in orbit. Yeah, that was kind of weird. <laughs> that was a little weird, but it's like. I don't know. I like Fast and Furious. Yeah, <laughs> Fast and Furious. They can do that. I don't care what they do. I love it. Yeah. I love it. It's great. That's funny. They got yeah. a bunch of big name actors, and they can do whatever yeah. they want. I took I took some uh, I took some I took some chick to go see that movie actually. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, "What do you want to watch?" I was like, uh, "You get three options. <laughs> you got Spider Man, Little Mermaid, or Fast and Furious." Oh. And I was like, "Please pick Fast and Furious." <laughs> <laughs> but I was trying to be you know I was trying to be cordial yeah. with it. I was like, "Whatever she down to watch, I'm down to watch." But I was like, "Please pick Fast and Furious." She was like, "Fast and Furious." I was like, "Okay, so you're trying to get married right yeah, now?" Yeah, right. That, that's what you're trying to do right now. Like, okay. So we're gonna see you back here yeah, next so week. She already like what I'm like. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So I'll be yeah. That's but, no, it wasn't in Dallas. It was in Oklahoma. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you, man. Well, yeah, cool. I gotta get. I gotta get back home. She probably missed me. She, she probably, called you earlier. And she was just texting me. Just oh like, yeah. yeah. She's like, <laughs> when you come in. Oh, hey, 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 do I think she the one? Do you? Oh, ask do me. You? Ask me. <laughs> How about this? I'll, I'll ask you in a couple months when we have you back. No, on. just ask me right now. Ask me right yeah. now. Is she the one? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 on that note, oh my God. Speaking about Drake over so. here, <laughs> he in his feels right now. So. <laughs> you better hug that teddy bear you got on your chest. Oh right my now. God. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I hope so. I, hope so. <laughs> I really do. Yo, I really do. He's going to come back. He's going to have a ring on his finger. Yeah, yeah you're going to be married next yeah. time we Don't see put you. the Fast and Furious actually because they might be. <laughs> Don't put the movie date on that one because they might figure that somebody might find out that it wasn't them. That's funny. Uh, I, got a, I got a few. I got a few. Uh, all right. Hmm? So yeah, 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 yeah. Episode yeah. ages. You yeah, said so what? So Nissan Skyline. Yeah, all right. Nissan Skyline. Nissan. Nissan. Nissan Skyline. Nissan Skyline. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna yeah. give it a. I'm gonna give it big cojones. Big cojones, big bro. Cojones. You can't even. You can't even get. I think they're like a hundred thousand dollar car too. Like if you try to buy that. Well, and it's and, like a nineteen ninety nine too. And once you get it, it's like fully customizable. Mm-hmm. Like you can do whatever, whatever you want. Ever to it. I, you know what? You know what I really want. Like something like a like kind of like a lifetime goal of mine. I want to have the car that Brian O'Connor drove. That I would want be that. sick. And I just want to, bro. I just want it. The blue one. Yep. I seen it. I no, seen that's it. a Supra. Mm-mm. It was a Skyline. Skyline. Yeah, he had a, he had a few different cars, but the Skyline that he had from like I think it was Too Fast, Too Furious. Mm. Yeah, the blue. The uh, it's not blue. It's silver with like the blue little yes. stripes on it. Yep. But yeah, I think that's that's the one I really want. Like, give me that one. I don't know where I get if I can find it, at, but I feel like once you get some money, you oh can, somebody's you can got. Oh, it. I got a guy. Oh, so so. I got a buddy that mm-hmm. I did a job with in New Jersey, and he, um, I've actually talked to him about coming on, and he said he's interested. 
Um, he is a photographer okay. for exotic cars. Ooh. And so he posts on his Instagram's crazy. If you look him up real quick, yeah. it's, it's a it's great dot dt. Yeah. Or you can look him up under my followers or something like that. And he he takes pictures of some like yeah sick stuff. I'm there's, sure he could hook you up. There's this girl I know in um in OKC. Her name is Autumn, and she does the same thing. For photographer for that type. Yeah, of stuff? for like mm. for like uh for like exotic cars and whatnot. I'm like, this dude takes some crazy pictures, and I'm well, like, she got the Lambo. Hold on a second, she got the I don't know if y'all can see that. From That's here. sick. Oh yeah, she got the Lambo, um, uh, Corvette C8. That's what I want right there. Shelby Cobras, like yo, whatever you know. Those she Shelby got, Cobras, she, yeah, she got it. Jeez, those are like two two twenty five. Yeah, MSRP. I don't even know. Something I can't like that. afford it, so I don't even want to. It's Ford. Who cares? <laughs> yeah. Come down to right. Dodge. Dodge dealership. Dodge, Dodge dealership. dealership. No, no, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I do, one more I time. I do sell Fords too. <laughs> I do sell Fords. I sell everything. Yeah, one more time. Where where can we go buy our next car at? Yo, what's up? It's your boy Taj Two K. If you want to get your next car, come down to John Vance Auto Group in Guthrie, Oklahoma. Come see me. You have an amazing experience. I can help you out with any particular process that you're in. Thank you for coming down to see me. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram. Snapchat, all that. Tajay 2K, T I J A Y 2K. You know the vibe. Hey. All right. Well, that awesome, was a great pod. Yeah, man. I appreciate yeah. you coming appreciate out here, man. Thank you very much. Appreciate y'all having for me. For sure, for sure. This was great. This was great. I'm going to hit you up on, on Facebook more. Absolutely. Come on, we'll come out for that. <laughs> I'm going to hit you up on Messenger he's more. Gonna, yeah. Messenger me. Messenger I'm... is where the conversations happen. This all is right. Where, like, this is where this podcasts man, are formed. This man took my car, didn't yep. know if it was coming back. He's yep. sending me. Facebook Messenger scams. Yep. I'm like, what is this yep. man doing? Yep, Nigerian But guess what? Scams. It's all worked out in yeah. the end. I love He's it. like, I, there's a Nigerian prince I know. He needs ten thousand to unlock his funds. Then he'll give me yeah. a million, something yeah. like that. I feel like I feel like whatever I send you now, you got to trust me at this point. Yeah. Like if I tell you, like, bro, send me ten thousand to get me out of jail, you probably be like, all right, cool. We got to figure out. How I'll to get like a, I'll get like a kick. Like my, my, my trust. <laughs> kick yeah, like my trustworthiness, like my credibility is up there at this point. Like I can't do no wrong. That's very true. No. Very yeah. true. There's like no boundaries when yeah. it comes to what you can message me on now. Yeah. It's okay. like, yeah, I love that. It's like, what? I love that. So if I go to jail, like, I just got to make sure I got your number in there. That's right. I'm going to call all my white people. If whenever I get in jail, call all the white people that I know. <laughs> I might call my third grade teacher, like, yo, ma'am. Remember me when I got an A on the spelling bee? Like, yo, this is me. We're the only ones that can get the credit passed at this the bail bonds me, place. Man. Hey. Everyone else is like, uh, sir, yeah. you were just here. Yeah. Uh-huh. So. We just bailed you out, actually. Man, I'm calling all the white people I know if I go. <laughs> I'm in the car right now. If I get pulled up, I ain't gonna, hey, my, hey, if I get pulled up, we go to jail. And it's, you got us on speed dial. It's uh, okay. We'll uh, come get you, Two beers and a mic is not responsible for any wrongdoing of hey, uh, alcohol. Call the manager at two beers and one might get me out of jail. Right, right. Now, right. But yeah. thanks for coming on, man. Yes, we sir. appreciate it. Appreciate and, you uh, having we'll me. We'll have you on again sometime. crazy. For sure. do it again. Yeah. For sure. Do you have any questions for us? Man. Nah, we got a question. You don't care. (laughs) I'm the interview. Yeah, interview me. I'm the interview. We hear about y'all all all day long. Right, right. All right, bro. We'll check you later. And uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks for coming on. We'll see you again. Hey, y'all. Appreciate y'all having me. Thank you. This has been an amazing experience. Man, it's so really just so crazy where where we came from, bro. Amen. You know, so I'm really just happy that we that we still connected. Absolutely. You know, so that's, no, yeah, that's, that's cool. Up. It's good to meet From you, man. Neff Hall in Weatherford. Neff Hall in Weatherford. And, and you know what's you know, like real quick, you know what's surprising? Like, bro, I've never would have thought I'd be in Oklahoma from California. My friends in California still like, yo, what are you what doing are you? in Oklahoma? <laughs> I left and I ain't say nothing. Like we just upped and left. So it's kinda crazy. And yeah. I still ain't been back. So Dang. Yeah, it's crazy. Hey man, property taxes ain't yeah, California it's is expensive. expensive. Yeah, Oklahoma is real nice. Real cheap. I'm paying five hundred dollars a month for rent right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, you think I'm leaving? Are you crazy? No, nope. right. No but shot. All right, though, y'all. Thank you for having me. Much yeah, love. Keep doing this thing right here, though. For sure. Right. You too, man. This. Keep grinding at it. You already know. We'll get you some crack berry next time. We'll get you a yeah. whole can for yourself. Man, I might just come back just for that. All right, for sure. Three hours drive. Check it, bro. <laughs> all right, man. Yes, sir.